Nog een oude bekende hier op Graspop, Arch Enemy. De zevende keer dat ze hier al staan en bij mij zit Michael van Arch Enemy. Michael, welcome. How are you doing? I'm great. A little bit tired, but you a little know. bit tired. Yeah, yeah, I heard you to you guys. Uh, it's the 20th year on the 20th edition of uh, Graspop as well. So, oh really? Uh, is there any celebration, special celebration um, for you guys? Well, I put the band together maybe 20 years ago. I think the first album was 20 years ago next year. Uh, yeah, for the first album, and we might do something around that, but we haven't really planned anything, you know. Yeah. Um, things are going so well right now with the new lineup, the new album, and everything that uh, we mm-hmm. haven't really had time to think about looking back yet. Yeah. Now uh, Angela is gone. Are you talking about the new lineup, of course? Yeah. Um, was it difficult replacing her? Um, it all happened very quickly, actually. I mean, it, the initial. Um, feeling was obviously that this is going to be very difficult to yeah. replace an iconic front uh, figure in a band as well established and uh, and so forth but uh you know Elisa came into the picture very quickly and um, I mean at the end of the day I had two choices you know to stop the band and say that was a great yeah. run and just finish it or uh, try some you know I'd already written some new songs try something with an with uh, the new lineup and yeah. you know and we just did that and it's worked out very very well for us so yeah very happy now uh the new album war eternal when the single was released on, on youtube yeah in less than 10 days it got 1.5 million views in less than th- in less than three days less than three days yeah. even that's yeah. insane yeah i mean that doesn't really happen in in metal but uh it kind of went viral i guess yeah you know, yeah and 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 i mean you I mean we all know that metal fans are very loyal to their band but oh yeah there was yeah. this this is anxiety perhaps that what would they think with yeah well i think i believe that it's in nature being a fan that you want you fall in love with a band or an yeah. artist at one point in in your life and you want them to stay exactly the same for the rest of <laughs> yeah yeah just <laughs> like that never change never change never change the sound how they look or anything and obviously yeah this was a big change but uh, i think it was a successful one there are a lot of examples when it hasn't worked out so yeah. well for bands <clears throat> when they change their singer but this is one of those rare cases where uh, actually I mean, the band has kind of gone up instead of staying the same or going yeah. down. It's kind of going up. So, yeah. um, what's next for the band? Another twenty years? Um, I don't know. That would be nice, but uh, we don't look that far ahead, really. I mean, we're touring up to the end of the year. Mm-hmm. We have a big tour at the. Uh, we're going to America after the after the. Yeah, um, I've, I've checked your lineup. It's yeah. insane. Until the end of December, you're fully booked almost. Right. Yeah. And then we're already booking stuff in 2016 <laughs> as well. But, you know, at some point next year, we're going to uh, start thinking about writing new music properly. Mm-hmm. And we already have a few ideas floating around, but, you know, nothing really concrete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's hard to focus on that when you, you're just going on all the road around the world like we're doing Living now. out of a suitcase. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you ever get used to that? No. Um, yeah. I think, yeah, kind of. I was just home for a week and I felt very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really? Is it getting into a normal, yeah, regular... Yeah, it's kind of uh, like it's more normal for us now, uh, for me personally anyway, to be on my way somewhere than being at home. Yeah. It's uh, almost easier, you know. It's it's kind of hard to stop that flow and then and then be at home and you have to cook your own meal or <laughs> that's, that's do the problem. dishes and you're like how does this work what do I eat and, you know I have to make I have to make decisions yeah and uh, yeah so I, I texted my tour manager when I was at home and I was like, <laughs> get me some pizza exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much Michael for mm. making some time for us and have a great show tonight cool thank you very much